feel good. I feel real good, yeah. I feel good. I feel like my old self again. I feel like I'm moving pretty well. So overall, I feel pretty good. I just worked on a little bit of everything. Uh, I wanted to put on a few pounds. Then I think I want to drop a little bit now, but I feel good overall. What weight are you at now? Like 233. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm comfortable right here. I'm comfortable. Yeah, I gained about three to four pounds. Nothing too major. Um, I think it's always room for improvement. I definitely feel like I'm a lot better now, just as far as like the mental aspect of the game. It definitely moved faster for me, just playing a new position. I'm closer to the ball, so it was definitely faster, but I think I adjusted pretty well. Yeah, it was tough, but if I could be out there, I would be out there. So I just tried to control what I can and, you know, try to get myself back healthy. Uh, it's a great help because, you know, he's been in the league for 15 years, so I'm always in his ear just asking him uh, a lot of questions, even like JB and Denzel as well, Nick. I ask everybody questions. You know, you can always learn something from somebody. What kind of things are you asking? Uh, just like what they see on a certain play, uh, what can I do better, um, what they think my weaknesses are so I could strengthen my game, just every little thing I could What's possibly ask. Yeah, I mean, he just been around the game so long, he pretty much seen everything that's going to come our way. So, you know, that's just an extra coach on the field. So, you know, it's, I got to use that to my advantage. Do you think that um, you feel stronger mentally when you get to part of the game? Can you expand on that? Where did that come from? Was that new at the time, or was it just in the offseason? Oh, just as far as, like, the playbook. Just, you know, I had all that time away. So just being able to look at the playbook and learn from other people's mistakes, ask a lot of questions. I feel like I'm a lot better mentally. That's, that's a huge confidence yeah, definitely, definitely. Because now I could just play fast. I don't really got to do too much thinking. I feel like last year I was thinking a little bit too much sometimes. This year I feel way more comfortable just as far as just my preparation and I know what I'm doing. Definitely going to make some mistakes still, but that comes with it. Um, it was just something I talked to about uh, with the trainers and the doctors. We just all felt like that was the best thing to do, just to get myself 100% healthy and be ready for this year. So I'm happy to be back. Be 100%, 100%. Yeah, definitely. In terms of working your way back from the knee injury, well, mm -hmm. how close you want to be ready to think, what does it mean to have a healthy Tim Shadow? I'm very happy for him. You know, he's a hard worker, very good player. So I just know he's been through a lot as far as injuries. And I could kind of relate because my big brother's been through like a similar you know, kind of trail. So I'm just happy for him. Hope everything pays off for him. You mentioned you just kind of leaning on your big brother a little bit. Did you talk to him about that experience? Yeah, definitely. About every day, you know, he was hurt like his first three years coming into the NFL after being like a top 10 pick. So he could definitely relate to what I was going through uh, last year. And he was a big help for me. What do you tell you specifically when you're just kind of saying he's gone through that? And what, just, what things are you looking at him telling you? I mean, he just pretty much said his life. Everything's not going to be on a uphill slope, you know, like you're going to have some battles in life. Just keep fighting. Don't give up. You'll be all right. Yeah. Well, I think we all realize that we can play at this level. I think we all uh, made plays last year. So it just gives us that confidence boost that we need. Like, we can really do this thing, you know, just keep working hard and just let the chips, you know, fall where they may. What have you thought about this year's rookie class? I think it was a great draft cat, uh, class. We got a lot of good guys, and I'm looking forward to them contributing to help us win more games. Who are you trying to play this year? Uh, just be the best player I can be. Both, yeah, be the best player I can be and then be a better man on and off the field. Just whatever the team needs me to do, I'm willing to do. Uh, yeah, definitely now that they got me playing some mic, I got to be more vocal and stuff like that. Just know what everybody's doing. So definitely. How comfortable do you feel like in that position? I feel pretty comfortable still learning as I go day by day, but definitely feeling a lot better than I did when I first got put out there at the mic. You told us you were a safety transition linebacker last year. Mm -hmm. uh, having one year kind of under your 
growth? Is that help your transition now going into your second year? Yeah, it's major. I think the second year, every time I have a second year under my belt, I feel like it helps me out a lot. In junior college, my second year was always better. At West Virginia, my senior year compared to my junior year was a lot better. And this year, I feel like my second year is going to be a lot better than my rookie year, even though I only got to play three games last year. Um, play a little bit of video game, a little call it, a little Call of Duty here and there. Yeah, not too much though. Yeah, I, I play online. Yeah, me and my brothers, we all get on together. Yeah, that's how we bond. I was a good experience because, you know, still we still competing, you know, talking a little trash on the mic. <laughs> so, yeah. Is it hard to balance not enough time as a pro football player to do that? Um, I don't think it's hard to balance. It's, de it's definitely an adjustment, though, but I wouldn't say it's hard to balance. What are your thoughts for the Patriots for this defense going into this season, especially with uh, the way they came off last year going into this year with the new weapons that you guys have added? Um, just to keep improving. Uh, in every category from last year and just, you know, be the best defense we can be. Hopefully be the best defense in the, in the NFL. Do you feel like this is the best defense we can have? Yeah, definitely. Well, there was a lot of players after draft that you know, playing catch and uh, with Travis and Keenan and multiple players. What's it like for you as a teammate to see a guy that has this football, love for football playing? Uh, it's great, you know, because everybody's just doing the extra stuff to, you know, put them a step ahead. So I think it's all going to pay off. That's just hard work. You know, like that's stuff a lot of people don't see behind the scenes that pay off. Appreciate it. Thank you.